Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of Song Theory. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Today we will be talking about Roddy Rich and his hit song, The Box. The song has a lot of imagery, incredibly dense lyrics, and a fantastic concept behind the song and video. But we are here to answer the most important question. What is The Box? If you listen to the lyrics, he makes a claim in his music that I frankly have never heard a hip hop artist ever say. I will never sell my soul and I can back that. Well, that's oddly specific, right? Well, let's let the music video guide us. I want all of you to pay close attention to this particular scene when he is on the basketball court, making an incredible half court dunk with a few seconds left on the clock. But do you see what the scoreboard says? 70 home, 70 away. You also see the number seven on the back of his jersey. I found this interesting considering you don't see a lot of sevens in hip hop at all. So I did some math. 70 plus 70 is 140. Divided by seven is 20. And this is when it hit me. Roddy Rich was extremely saddened by the death of XXX Tentacion, as we all were, but he did something few did the day he died. Roddy wrote a song called Die Young in honor of X the night he died, according to an interview he did with Genius. X had died that day. It was um, the night he passed away. I just was in a mode where it was like, you know, a lot of young people dying. They like legends, you know. Speaker knockers, Lil Snoop. You know, it's a lot of people that was great that died at a young age. So I wanted to make something in remembrance of them, but at the same time, just making people well aware of what, you know, what's been going on. It's like a trend or something. And you know what age X died? He died at the age of 20. Roddy Rich says he would never sell his soul, has all these sevens everywhere, and is giving us a clue concerning X's death. All right, so here we go. I believe The Box in Roddy Rich's song, The Box, represents his protection from Satan and the music industry as a whole. Now, if you remember my video asking, did XXX Tentacion sell his soul? I'll put a link of that in the description and above in the I card. You remember the signs X gave us that he did and how the music industry played a huge part in his decision. Now, I know oftentimes people listen to these theories and think, oh, here we go again, Satan and God. But you all have to understand, these rappers, these artists are giving us clues to what's going on. Whether it's metaphorical or literal, all the sevens that we see, all of the signs that they're giving, they're telling us what to think, not the other way around. So let's think about this further. Roddy Rich was extremely distraught by the death of X. And now in his new music video, The Box, he is proclaiming to the world that he will not make the same mistakes that X and many other musicians and artists made. Now, as I was writing this theory, I wanted to make sure I could back it up even further with more evidence. I had to keep thinking and keep digging. And so finally, I remembered something. Roddy Rich said that he could back that in his line about not selling his soul, right? Well, he did back that. Roddy Rich, as of the making of this video, has signed to a music label called Cobalt, a record label that allowed him to have full administration of his catalog, publishing, creative services, and all future works. What does that all mean? It means he never had to sign the devil's contract. I can take you guys down a long list of artists and musicians over the decades that have signed music contracts that they regretted. In fact, I'll put in the description below or in the iCard above a video that I made about Meg Thee Stallion and how she regretted the contract she made with her record label. People make the assumption that everybody is understanding what they're signing and everybody knows exactly what they're getting, but that's just not the truth. When it comes to music contracts and record labels, you have to understand a very important aspect of all of that. 
you are selling the rights to your creative brand. It is not your brand anymore. It is the brand of the record label. Your face, your name, everything you do and say is under the record label. Now, of course, everybody has their own opinion about that. But at the end of the day, the person that sat down and signed the contract, it's on them. For the rest of their life, as long as they're in that contract, they can never say that they were forced or had a gun to their head when they signed it. That's why anytime you listen to somebody who's really leery about the music industry, they often talk about signing on the dotted line or signing in blood because many people have referenced the music industry to be like a contract with Satan, almost like you're signing the contract to sell your own soul. This is something that people have been talking about for generations. And it's something that I think Roddy Rich successfully avoided. Now, mind you, not many young artists like Roddy Rich are able to avoid the pitfalls of a record label who controls everything around you. I think many people like X and other artists went through the same thing. And they go through an identity crisis because they're unable to pull themselves away from the record label, the name, the face, and they are so stuck in this place where they can't leave that they begin to act out. From the outside looking in, anybody who wants to be in the music industry and make all of that money, they sometimes don't see all the inner workings to the music industry. I have had the privilege of talking to people who have been in the midst of that, and I can tell you from their experience, it is not something you wanna get mixed up in if you don't have experience. And it is very sad that a lot of artists, including X, have been captured by the lure of money, fame, and power that they sell their souls, their literal selves, to the record label. And it's a shame, especially people like Juice World, who died tragically last year. It's pretty much the same for him. Anytime you die or let's say there's an accident and you're unconscious or whatever, the record label has the right to use your face, name, and music even after you're dead. For a good example, I'm sure all of you have seen the Tupac hologram or you guys remember X and his album dropping or for example, you know, Mac Miller also dropped an album recently. All these guys are dead and have been dead. But once again, with the record label and their family, they all make the decision outside of the individual to release all of this music. That is one of the biggest pitfalls to signing a record deal. And that is something everyone needs to understand. And I am very happy that Roddy Rich is not only pointing this out, but in his own song, he's revealing a big pitfall in the music industry. And I think it's fantastic. So let's understand the perspective that Roddy Rich is coming from. Instead of having to sell himself to gain power and money, he went about it in a way that gave him the freedom to own his works and most importantly, own his soul. He learned from the mistakes of the ones that he admired the most, and he vowed to never fall into the same trap. And people like Roddy Rich, like Chance the Rapper, for example, are great stars. It's undeniable to see people like Chance the Rapper going around owning their works and being able to be their own artist and person. It's incredible to me to see people like him and Roddy Rich who are able to own all of their work because it shows me they have the freedom to change, to be flexible, and they are not bound by a piece of paper or a contract. But that's why I think The Box is one of the greatest music videos in hip hop. Because Roddy Rich was able to show us almost every facet of the life before fame, during fame, and even after. And hopefully, much like the last scene of the video, Roddy keeps himself preserved and safe inside the box. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'm so excited that you guys are still here subscribing and liking and sharing all of my content. I'm really excited to uh, make more content, especially during this craziness that's going on in the world. I hope that my content brings you guys a little bit of light, a little bit of joy and hope and fun. And thank you all so much for the support you've given me and this channel. 
If you would like, please make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the like button and leave a comment. Do you guys think this theory is crazy? Does it make sense? Why is it that I keep bringing up the Judeo-Christian God and Satan and all that stuff? Ask me your questions and I'm more than willing to make a video about it as well. Once again, I think that what you have to understand is many times, especially in music, these people are bringing it to us. They're bringing us the content and all we're doing is analyzing it. So if you have any questions about my content or you want me to make a song theory, something that you think might be cool, leave a comment below and I'll be more than happy to take a look at it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and a better tomorrow. God bless. I'll see you all later.